are more popular than ever, with over 430,000 shipped out last year. But it's not just new rigs owning the road. Vintage RVs are surging in popularity, too. A lot of these trailers are 50 years that we restore, and then they're good for another 50 years. So it's less expensive than the new ones, and they're built way better than the, the white box trailers. Retro RVs founder John Abbott says there are several roads you can take to get rolling in an RV. The first option, buying one as is. This is so cool. Tell me about this trailer. This trailer is a 1961 Safari. It's 22 feet long and uh, it's all original inside. It's got the original paint and all the original appliances, the pink appliances, even the original pink toilet. And so something like this, because it has the original appliances, uh, really adds value. Yeah, the originality of it makes it worth about 30% more than one that's more modern. Wow, so, so if you find one like this, keep it. Keep it, keep it vintage, yeah. Just the way it is. If you're looking to modernize, find one that's not quite in this kind of shape so that you're not taking away from what the value is of that trailer. Which brings us to our next option. If you want something more customized, start with the Fixer Upper. So it's a little bit of the best of both worlds because you have the outside uh, has that vintage feel, but on the inside it has all of the modern amenities that somebody might like in a, in a brand new trailer. Right. But, but is it going to cost as much as a brand new trailer? No, it's going to be about half the price of what the current models are going for. Wow. But there are a couple of things to watch out for, including the frame rumbling, rust, and floor rot. In Airstreams and a lot of the others, the, the floor actually extends under the wall. So if it's rotten, we have to lift the shell up off the floor, replace the floor, and then drop it back down. And that runs uh, about $6,000 right now. And the last option, not sure you're ready to commit? Rent a retro RV. You don't have to store the big beast and no experience required. So do you have to be an expert to rent one of these? No, we do a, an orientation first and we say it takes an hour, some of them take two hours, but we go through all, how everything works so that you have a good feel for it how to hook it up, how to tow and all of that, uh, how to set up camp. So even if it's just a weekend or a week, people can kind of live like they're in the 1950s, 1960s era. Right, not only do you get to travel, you also get to time travel. Taking a trip down vintage RV lane on the top of the list.